Okay. Hi, my name is Sherry Tarashan and this is my capstone project for Mr. Lundrum CM10 class 2018-2019. CM10, short for Communications Media 10, is a class taught by Mr. Lundrum here at the Weber Comprehensive School. It covers four streams of study. There's Photoshop, Animation, Audio, and Video. In Photoshop, I learned how to crop and resize images, adjust an image's levels to brighten or darken it, remove blemishes and imperfections using the healing brush, and remove an image's background to layer it on top of another image. Here are a few examples. Animation, I learned how to make my very first animations. To animate, we use Adobe Animate and these objects called tweens. For shape tweens, we drew one shape at one point in time and then modified that shape or drew another shape at another point in time. The program we used, Adobe Animate, inserts the values or shapes to the frames in between, which creates the animation. As for motion tweens, it involves taking an image, converting it into a symbol, and then moving it from one position to another. Here's an example of my first shape tween animation. And here's one of my final animation projects, which included both shape and motion tweens. For video, we use a program called Adobe Premiere to layer sound effects, music, and or voiceovers to previously ma made animations or other videos. Here's an example of my lab port scene, which involved me taking my lab to an animation and adding sound effects, music, and voiceover to it. Of course he hadn't eaten those. He dressed himself in coat and hat. He put on shoes, and after that, he even brushed and curled his hair, then sat himself in your grandma's chair. In came the little girl in red. She stopped. She stared. As for audio, we use Audacity to record voiceovers and adjust its quality. We cut and edit parts of the audio using Premiere. Some of the other skills I learned was in Mr. Lundrum's class include prioritizing tasks, having patience, especially in rendering a video or transferring files, um, orga organization, keyboard shortcuts, um, time management, definitely, and my style of video editing. There are multiple careers available in multimedia if one is interested in pursuing this field. To name a few, there are film and video editors, photographer, sound engineering technician, multimedia artist, digital camera operator, and game programmer. For marks, projects called labs are given, which you have to complete and hand in his assignment and folder along with the content used to make it and a thing we call a marking matrix. A marking matrix is basically just a marking sheet which I have filled out with the skills I learned and the objectives of this lab. Marking works a bit differently in this class. Mr. Lundrum actually sits you down and you get to see and hear his critique as he marks your lab, which is great for self-improvement and getting instant results, but also very nerve-wracking and one should be consistent in handing in their project, otherwise you're going to have difficulty. As for how the class is organized, we do that differently as well. Mr. Lundrum uses videos and does a real-time demonstration of how to actually do the project to teach us and show us what to do. So, if we get stuck during the creation of our lab, we can always watch his tutorial videos online on school YouTube channel. Every Friday, we're also required to write, to write a journal describing how our week in CM10 went, whether or not we made progress from last week, our concerns and struggles, and if we were able to help anybody or if anybody were able to help us in this class. It helps us keep track of where we are in terms of labs, what we did and what we plan on doing in the future. However, it can be a bit inconvenient if you are behind already in other labs since it sets you back a few minutes. To anybody who's interested in taking CM10, I strongly suggest that you do. It is a really fun class that teaches you lots of skills and that are helpful, whether or not you plan on pursuing a career in the multimedia field. It can get very stressful at times, especially when you're behind like I currently am. <laughs> However, the satisfaction you get after completing your project and seeing how well you did it outweighs it all. I made a lot of great memories in this class and I created a lot of labs that I am extremely, extremely proud of. Mr. Lundrum himself is a great teacher who loves what he does and I'm really happy that I took this class. So, this concludes my capstone. Thanks for watching!